hi guys uh, welcome to my channel my name is Mary Juliana if it's your first time here consider subscribing so that you get notified when I upload new videos and if you are my subscriber thank you so much for coming back so let's go straight to the topic of today today we're gonna I'm gonna teach you Arabic words uh, related to the kitchen anything related to the kitchen kitchen stuffs and everything in the kitchen okay so let's uh, start we're gonna start with the, the name of the kitchen kitchen in Arabic it's called makbah makbah kitchen it's called makbah and then we have uh, telaja 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 is the fridge fridge then we have sikina 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 is the knife knife is called sikina we have melhaga 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 is the spoon spoon is called melhaga we have shoka shoka is the fork spoon fork fork spoon then we have sahan 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 is the plate okay and then we have kasa 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 is the glass glass of water it's called kasa and then we have cup 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 is the cup cup of tea all right and then we have uh, gider 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 is the cooking pot cooking pot is called gider then we have marsala 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 is the sink any sink around the house is called marsala whether it's in the kitchen or in the bathroom it's called marsala where you wash your hands where you wash the utensils the sink it's called marsala and then we have uh, gahua 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 is coffee okay whether it's turkish coffee it's called gahua gahua to mean coffee then we have shahi 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 is uh, tea they call tea shahi then we have the judge the judge is the key, is the chicken sorry the judge is the chicken then we have laham 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 is uh, meat meat is called laham then we have laham mushroom it's the mist meat okay mist meat is called laham mushroom we have rose 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 uh, is is the rice rice is called rose in arabic then we have moya 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 is water water is called moya then we have basal basal the onion onion is called basal we have zait 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 is uh, oil okay cooking oil is called zait then we have zait zaitun zait zaitun that is the olive oil olive oil is called zait zaitun then we have mel 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 is the salt 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 is called mel then we have sukar 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 is the sugar sugar is called sukar we have zubala 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 is the dustbin okay and the paper that is put on the dustbin before you put the uh before you put the how do you call it before you put the waste okay before you put the dirt there it's called kiss zubala that paper that you put inside the dustbin before you put your waste there it's called keys zubala okay keys it means paper it doesn't mean keys for opening the door okay keys for opening the door is called mufta mufta 
mufta is the key that you is used to open the doors but the one that the paper that you put in the dustbin is called keys zubala okay any paper is called keys any plastic paper is called keys but the one that you put in the dustbin is called keys zubala but the one that is used to open the door is not called keys it's called mufta mufta you open the door using mufta in english it's keys all right and then we have uh, bab bab is the door the door is called bab and then we have shubak shubak is the window window is called shubak uh, if you know of any Arabic word that is used in the kitchen that I have not mentioned in this video, uh, kindly do so. Mention it in the comment section. Let's help someone who is new here. Let's help people learn Arabic, okay? I might have forgotten a lot of stuff that is used in the kitchen that you know, my viewer know. You can put it in the, in the comment section and someone who is looking forward to learn Arabic will find it there because uh, maybe I might have forgotten some words and some stuffs used in the kitchen okay so feel free to share your views your new words your vocabularies in the comment section and stay tuned uh, to learn more Arabic uh, words I'll be the ne in my next video I'll cover the Arabic numbers we'll learn Arabic numbers how to count from 1 up to 100 in Arabic okay thank you so much for watching Remember to subscribe.